All right, so let's talk about um, position versus time graphs when we're talking about non-uniform motion. So basically we have acceleration. All right, so on a position versus time graph and you have changing velocity, that means we are no longer in uniform motion land, um, our velocity is changing. So that could mean a couple things, actually. So let's look at that. So it's no longer going to be moving at a constant rate. It's getting faster by the second. That's one version of um, changing velocity. And we're going to talk about the other instance in just a second. So if you look at this position, um, position graph down here below, you see that for every second, the distance is getting greater and greater. So from 0 to 1, it was 2. Then we're going 6. Then we're going 10. So it's getting quicker and quicker, essentially. Okay, That is a way to change velocity. So what would you expect a graph like this to look like? Hopefully, you said, oh, my graph is going to look like this. So, yes, it should have a changing slope, which means we're no longer having a straight line. Now we have a curve. Um, in that previous example, we kept traveling longer distances, so bigger Ys, um, in the same X direction. So, basically, our slope was increasing. Okay, so... That gr this graph right here definitely captures that, okay? So we weren't moving very far, weren't moving very far, moving much further, okay? Okay, so we know that acceleration is a vector quantity, meaning we got magnitude and direction. So how do we determine the direction or the sign of our acceleration? This is all based on concavity. So concavity is going to show us the acceleration. It has to do with um, basically how the data is manipulated in order to get a uh, linearization. So if it's concave up, we have a positive acceleration. And if it's concave down, we have a negative acceleration. Some people like to draw the little happy clown face, sad clown face. If you see a happy clown face, it's positive. If you see a uh, frowny face or unhappy clown, it's negative. But basically, concave up is positive. Concave down is negative. All right, so now let's talk about accelerating versus decelerating. So accelerating is when you are uh, basically, the object speed is changing with time, um, getting, getting quicker, essentially, um, going from a lower velocity to a higher velocity or speed. Um, so when it's accelerating, it's not uniform motion. And we have two different cases down here. So down here, we have um, something that's starting in the negative region and then going towards the positive. So it's definitely in the positive direction. And it's speeding up because you see the slope is not very large there and it gets larger. And then we have the very steepest slope over here. Okay, so it is accelerating or speeding up in the positive direction. Okay, now this one over here, um, it's actually going in the negative direction, right? As time goes on, we are getting more negative. But it's actually also still speeding up because as you notice, your slope is getting steeper and steeper. So now we're accelerating or speeding up in the negative direction. All right, now let's look at uh, decelerating. So decelerating is when you're slowing down. Um, for this to happen, the direction of the velocity has to be opposite the direction of the acceleration. So that's why a lot of times you'll see, um, if you're working a problem, that if it's slowing down, the acceleration actually has a negative value. Okay? Um, so it's all about the slope of that line. Okay? So if it is... Um, this one's obviously going in the positive direction because it's getting more positive as we go. But you see it's steeper here, right? And then it gets less steep. So it's slowing down. So this is what we call decelerating. So it's decelerating or slowing down in the positive direction. Okay, now this one over here, we are going uh, obviously into the negative direction. So we're traveling in the never negative direction. But if you'll notice, your slope is getting less steep and less steep and less steep. So we're slowing down in the negative direction here. So decelerating in the negative direction. 
All right, so here's just an example. So we start from rest south of the house. So that means our origin is here. So we're at rest, horizontal velocity there. I mean, horizontal line on the uh, distance versus time graph, zero velocity. All right, and then you see that we gradually speed up. We pass our house, our house's origin, and then we gradually slow back to a stop. We're stopped up here. And then we turn around, we go the opposite direction. So now we're headed back towards home. We pass home. Um, and then we, we are speeding up as we are heading back down. Um, and then we stop somewhere close to our starting point, um, gradually slowing down to a stop. All right, so this is a nice little summary slide that I like. So, of course, if you have a uh, solid line, means that we have continuous uh, velocity, constant velocity, uniform motion. Okay, so all of these straight lines indicate that. Okay, because this one is steeper than this one, that is telling us that this one is moving faster than this one is. All right straight horizontal line on position versus time graph is going to be at rest or stationary and then a line that is going back towards the origin that is something that has simply turned around and is going back to where it started from all right and then you have the lovely curved line you see our um, slope is increasing so we have acceleration positive um, acceleration all right and last but not least so this one's good, really helps with looking at um, the directions of the acceleration versus the velocity. Okay, so we'll start with our um, straight lines. So this one's easy, okay? Positive velocity, um, zero acceleration because it's not curved. All right, and then this one going straight across, obviously that's no velocity and no acceleration, so zero and zero. Okay, now let's like start looking at some of our curves. So we'll start with this one first. So this one, we have a negative acceleration because that's the way the slope is. And we also have, um, sorry, I meant velocity. So negative because our slope is negative there. Acceleration is negative because it's concaving down. Okay, now over here on the other side, we have two going opposite kind of directions here, both curving. So they're both accelerating. We know that. Okay, now this one is concaving down. So that's going to be negative acceleration, but it has a positive slope. So that's positive velocity, negative acceleration. Okay, now on line D here, it's concaving up. So we have a positive acceleration and the slope of this line is positive. That's the velocity. So positive velocity, positive acceleration. The concave up, concave down really works for me. Um, so that's the way I would suggest you guys do it. So if it concaves up, it's positive. If it concaves down, that's negative. 